So the other thing you have to do is work on the habitat because these fish you want to give them a boost and increase their numbers but they have to be able to do it on their own. So you need to go in there and create clean productive habitat for these fish to spawn in, for their eggs to rear in, and then in this, in, in the case of summer chum, they emerge from the gravels, are in the creek for maybe a few days or a week, and then they immediately go to salt water. So you also have to have a very productive saltwater estuary and nearshore area because they will utilize those areas for several months before they actually make their way out to the ocean. So part of the success of the recovery uh, actions that we've been doing is that we've worked on the habitat. Uh, we need to do more on the habitat. In fact, we need to do more on the habitat than anything else. We're, we're doing good on harvest. We're doing good on hatcheries. We need more work on the habitat. Uh, if you go down to the, uh, uh, just downstream of here, about a half a mile, uh, there was an old, the old stream channel was diked and dredged. It was straightened and the, 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 the gravel was placed up on the, on the borders and the creek couldn't do anything but go straight ahead uh, because the farmer wanted to have his pasture and raise some cows and raise some hay. That way he maximized the amount of pasture that he had. Well, that's not good for summer chum. So what we did, we actually ended up buying a pretty good chunk of the lower valley uh, from willing landowners. And then we were able to move, go in there and put the curves, re meander they call it, put the curves back in the stream, get rid of the dikes, which allowed the water to flow out over the floodplain. And all of these things make the, make the in-stream habitat that much more habitable, hospitable for the summer chum eggs when they're in the gravel.